Transformations Enlargement Enlargement is probably one of the toughest types of transformations to crack. So if you're new to this topic, or you're still not fully confident with it, just a heads up, your full focus is going to be needed. Enlargement, simply put, is making the size of a shape bigger or smaller. Yeah, I know. Bear with me. In enlargement, the size of the shape changes, but we always keep all the angles and length ratios the same. Basically, what that means is that if we enlarge the shape, the corresponding angles are the same. And although the lengths have changed, how big they are in relation to each other basically remains the same. So for example, this side is three times bigger than this side. And with the same sides of the enlarged shape, this side is still three times bigger than this side. In order to do any enlargement, there are two things that we will need, the scale factor and the center of enlargement. The scale factor is how many times bigger or smaller the size of the new shape will be in comparison to the old shape. If shape A is enlarged by a scale factor of 2, all the lengths on shape B, the enlarged shape, will be 2 times larger. Now, going back to the center of enlargement, this is basically the point where the shape is enlarged from. It also acts as a point where the original and second shape align. The center of enlargement is always given a coordinate so we know where it is. To find the center of enlargement, in an example where we don't know the center of enlargement, the first thing we need to do is to join up all the corresponding corners with straight lines, for example like this. As you can see, there is a point where all the lines intersect and cross over. And as you've guessed it, this is our center of enlargement. One question we may be asked is, um, enlarge shape A by a scale factor of three. The center of enlargement is the coordinate two two. To do this type of question, we need to do the following steps. First of all, we need to draw straight lines between the center of enlargement and each of the points of our original shape A. Then we need to measure the distance between each one of these points and the center of enlargement. Now we multiply the length of each one of these lines by our scale factor, three in this case. So if the distance of one of our lines was three, the new distance will be 9. Once we have drawn in all our longer lines, we connect up all the endpoints together and this will form our new enlarged shape, enlarged by a scale factor of 3. What if we wanted to find out what our scale factor was in a question where we weren't given the scale factor and we were asked to find it? All we need to do is divide one of the new lengths by the corresponding length on our original shape. So, in this example, it will be 6 divided by 2. That would give us a scale factor of 3. So, remember, our scale factor is a new length divided by the corresponding original length. The scale factor can also be found from the lines we draw to the center of enlargement. We just divide the length that spans from the corner of the enlarged or shrunken shape to the center of the corresponding length that spans from the corresponding corner to the center. So an example of another type of question we could have is uh, B is an enlargement of shape A. Find the scale factor and the center of enlargement. First we're going to go about finding the scale factor. I'm choosing this length from the enlarged shape and I'm going to divide it by its corresponding side on the original shape. So in this case I would have 8 divided by 2 and this gives me 4. I need to make a note of this, remember it. Next, the corresponding corners are joined. 
they cross when we draw them all at the coordinate where we have two on the x-axis and one on our y-axis so our final answer is that we have a scale factor of four and the center of enlargement is the coordinate point two one now what if the enlarged shape was smaller or shrunken what would the scale factor be well here we just follow the same rules as before we take the corresponding new length and we divide it by the same original length for example if shape C was an enlargement of shape D what would be the scale factor and what are the coordinates of the center of enlargement just like the previous example we choose and divide a length from the new shape by the corresponding original length in this case it's 3 divided by 6 if we leave this answer in fraction form and then we simplify we can see that our scale factor is 1 over 2 for the center of enlargement like previously we draw lines that align corresponding corners once we draw these in the point they cross over and intersect at is the center of enlargement so another tricky example could be uh, the center of enlargement is 1 2 enlarge shape C by a scale factor of minus 3 and label the new shape D so we know that the shape will also be three times larger but in this case it will be upside down and on the other side of the center of enlargement. The way we find a position for a negative scale factor is first to draw the lines joining the center of enlargement to the corners of the shape like so. But instead of stopping at the point of enlargement we continue beyond this point. This is the area where our new shape will be drawn. Next, we find the position of the corners of the new shape by measuring a distance between the corner and the center of enlargement and multiplying that distance by our scale factor, 3 in this case. We then measure this new distance beyond the center of enlargement in the same line. The point where it stops is the first point of our new shape. We repeat the process like so for each of the rest of the distances until our new shape is mapped out like so. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a long process. What if we had a question like this? Enlarge shape A by a scale factor of minus one over four and label that shape B. The center of enlargement is minus one, three. So that's two things here. We've got a minus value and we've got a number that is less than a whole. We've got a fraction that is a quarter. We know from what we've just gone through that the new shape will be four times smaller because it's a quarter of the size and also on the other side of our center of enlargement point. We measure the distance between each of the corners of our shape to the center of enlargement and we divide this distance by 4. Now we draw our new lengths on the other side of the center of enlargement and then once we are done we plot and join the corners like so and our new shape is drawn. And just like that, tough question, cracked easily, job done. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. 
Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.